we thank you for joining in our live stream celebration today. Resources for this Mass were posted yesterday to the parish website and on our Facebook page, including a music sheet, the children's bulletin, and tips for watching the Mass at home. We'll give you a few minutes to get things ready before we begin. Good morning and welcome. Today we celebrate the 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Prince of Peace is here to pray with you and support you. We thank you for your continued patience and understanding as we work through this process together. Please visit the parish website or Facebook page for important guidelines for attending Mass, up-to-date information on the parish, and helpful resources. Prince of Peace is once again participating in back-to-school outreach. We are collecting donations to purchase gift cards for Olathe Public School students who are dealing with homelessness and economic challenges. To support this parish um, outreach effort, visit the parish website to make an online donation or place your check in the offertory basket and write in the memo line, back to school. Donations are due by Monday, July 27th. Please remember, ushers will dismiss rows from the back first at communion and at the end of Mass. Please stop by and visit with Zaza and pick up fresh produce after all Sunday morning Masses outside the school entrance. Please wear your mask and practice social distancing while you stop by. Our intention for this Mass is the people of the parish. Our presider is Father Greg Hamas. Please stand. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, richer than gold, stronger than death. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, life everlasting. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, richer than gold, stronger than death. Your words are spirit and life, O oh Lord, life everlasting. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Well, welcome to all as we celebrate the 15th Sunday of Ordinary Time and we go into a series of Sundays of parables. So an opportunity to go uh, deeper in our faith. So brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, You alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path. Give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Just as from the heavens the rain and snow came down, and do not return there till they have watered the earth, making it fertile and fruitful, giving seed to the one who sows, and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. My word shall not return to me void, but shall do my will achieving the end for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are as nothing compared with the glory to be revealed for us. 
For creation awaits with eager expectation the revelation of the children of God. For creation was made subject to futility, not of its own accord, but because of the one who subjected it, in hope that creation itself would be set free from slavery to corruption and share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. We know that all creation is groaning in labor pains, even until now. And not only that, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, we also groan within ourselves as we wait for adoption, the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, and the whole crowd stood along the shore. And he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil, and produced fruit, a hundred, or sixty, or thirtyfold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. The disciples approached him and said, Why do you speak to them in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given, and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, Even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see, and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear but not understand. You shall indeed look but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their hearts, and be converted, and I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see, and your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people longed to see what you see, but did not see it, and to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. Hear then, the parable of the sower. The seed is sown on the path, is the one who hears the word of the kingdom without understanding it, and the evil one comes and steals away what was sown in his heart. The seed sown on rocky ground is the one who hears the word and receives it at once with joy, but he has no root and lasts only for a time. When some tribulation or persecution comes because of the word, he immediately falls away. The seed sown among thorns is the one who hears the word, 
But then worldly anxiety and the lure of riches choke the word, and it bears no fruit. But the seed sown on rich soil is the one who hears the word and understands it, who indeed bears fruit and yields a hundred or sixty or thirtyfold. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, those who don't believe. So the parable has that dual effect, and Jesus uses it on the crowds. So I wanted to share one truth and one application about the idea of parables. The truth I take away is we want to be believers, and we need to work at the truth. I think I would articulate it this way. You know, the truth we have to work for is the truth we keep. You know, I could speak all day and you could listen, but when you really got to work to learn something and strive to understand it, when you get it, then you got it. And that's true for our faith. Sometimes it's, we've been given a lot, but when you really got to wrestle with a question and you really, really work at it, you pray, you study, you try to internalize it, then you got it. That's the response we need to make. Uh, you got to till the soil. We got to work at these truths so they're not surface. Um, 
And so I tie it back to my first homily about expectations. If we do those things, we'll be working. So pray. I think I said to pray, to learn, to love, to get to heaven. It all takes effort to go deeper, to see, to listen, to understand. So I want to apply this truth to a modern parable of, that I call the pandemic. <laughs> I think the pandemic is a parable. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying this is God's word to us and God is doing this to, you know, make us, you know, whatever. Uh, don't blame God. It's, it's a thing of nature, but it just fits this category parable pretty well. So I call it a natural parable. Jesus gave parables to crowds. The pandemic it hits everybody. It hits the crowds in particular. We're supposed to not have crowds. Um, and there's different ways we can respond to it. I can articulate all the responses of this parable of the soils. Some have responded with the first way. We call it maybe a hard heart. They deny there's a pandemic at all. There's no such thing. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. That's a response. It's possible. Maybe you've made that response. I've probably done it a little bit myself, but, I, but it, that could be a response. Another response is the shallow soil. Maybe we deal with the pandemic for now. It's changing me for now. Once I get through it, though, back to normal. Back to what I, the same things I ever did. That would be the shallow soil. I think I fall in that category. I want to get through this and get back to normal. Maybe you're that way too. A third way to respond to the pandemic is with the thorns, the weeds. Choke it out. We could entertain ourselves through it. Go home and Netflix and chill till the pandemic is over. And I think that's a response we probably have all tried. But I think there's an alternate response, the one that Jesus would have us do. Could we go deeper and learn, like really wrestle with this pandemic so that we walk away different? I think that's the response. So that's my desire out of the pandemic. If there's one good, it's been terrible. If something good could come out of it, maybe it will change us for the better. How could we learn from it? Well, one, we might be forced to think about life and death. We don't like thinking about that, but it doesn't hurt us in the bigger scheme to ponder it with God, because it is a life or death thing. Maybe we could ponder one thing the pandemic has knocked out is a lot of busyness, a lot of sports, <laughs> things like that. Was all that good for us? Was it good to be busy, 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 busy? Or is this quieter, simpler life, is there a value to it? Maybe we should wrestle with that question. Maybe you've had the opportunity that it forced you to have sit-down family dinners. I hope so. A lot of people have articulated it's been great family time. Maybe that's something we could uh, take out of this pandemic. And uh, I'm sure there's more. Um, oh, yeah. Community, gathering. Maybe missing all that. There's something to ponder there. Even what we're doing right now, the mass. Because we have that time period when you couldn't go to mass. You're in the time period now, you don't have to go to mass. You know, you're, you're all dispensed. So you don't have to be here, but you chose to be here. You got to wrestle with that. Why do I want to go? People at home, and there's valid reasons to be at home, you're watching this. Um, it, it makes us wrestle. Like, how do I make Sunday holy? What does the Eucharist mean to me? Have I missed it? Um, there's opportunity to go deeper. And that's what a parable does. We've got to wrestle, process, understand. And the pandemic is like a parable itself. I know God is present in the midst of it. And that there can be fruit, 30, 60, 100 fold, if we dig uh, into the soil, if we let it uh, make us wrestle with these things. 
could be bewildering. Parables can be, be, and I've been bewildered a lot myself. Uh, Or a chance to go deeper. So let's go deeper in our faith, really strive to do that, to make truths our own. Parables force that. But also this pandemic, I think, is an opportunity for us to go deeper. What's important? What is important to me? Uh, So let's make an effort to truly see, to listen, and understand. So let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things are made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds in the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God is the sower. He provides for us. So let us lift up our petitions to him this day. For the church, that we may spread the hopeful and exciting message of the gospel through both our words and deeds so that others may encounter the God who loves them, We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a greater love for the word of God, that we may make space in our busy lives to allow the word of God to challenge and prune us so that we may bear abundant fruit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the courage to share our faith through stories, that we may offer others the joy of coming to know God's love through sharing our story of our journey with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to the pandemic, that God will free the human family from the coronavirus, guide all who are searching for treatments or vaccine, and protect all who are vulnerable from the disease. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the deceased, especially James Knopke, May they reap the rewards of following the word of God here on earth. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, help us to see, to listen, to understand, to grow, to bear fruit in this world. Hear our prayers. We ask them all through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Look upon the offerings of your church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so, with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, You give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. 
Look, we pray, upon the ablation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Just a reminder that the pews will be dismissed by the ushers beginning in the back for communion. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. As when the shepherd calls his sheep, they know and heed his voice. Satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. With joyful lips we sing to you our praise and gratitude. You should count us worthy, Lord, to share this heavenly food. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to is not the cup we bless and share, the blood of Christ outpoured. Do not one cup, one loaf declare our oneness in the Lord. You satisfy the hungry heart with of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the bread of life to eat. The mystery of your presence, Lord, no mortal tongue can tell, whom all the world cannot contain. Comes in our hearts to dwell. You satisfy the hungry heart with gift of finest wheat. Come, give to us, O saving Lord, the 
Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects may gr- may, upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a couple announcements. Again, reminder, the ushers will uh, dismiss you from your pews, beginning with the back rows. And uh, there's the farmer's market this morning. Uh, Please stop by. It's just right across the way over there at the school entrance. Great produce and um, the fruit of the soil. Be a good day to buy that. Uh, But please remember over there to wear a mask and a social distance. So hope you have a very fruitful week, a hundredfold kind of week with God. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, announcing the gospel by your life. Thanks be to God. True.